What's going on? I'm David, this is Spencer, and welcome to Aftermath. Welcome back to Aftermath, the sports castle. We cover the 912 area. We are going into playoffs, baby. Yeah. So it's been a long, long season so far. Some people made it, some people did not. But today we're going to go over everyone that's made it, who's in, what the first round's looking like. But we're also going to hit on Effingham Brunswick game real quick because we did miss our Tuesday episode. Uh, I was in Cincinnati, lost my voice, so we bumped it back today. But that's all right. Before we jump into things, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, make sure you go follow us on Instagram. Hit us up in the DMs with the highlights, um, any information. Uh, talk to us. We're, we're always here to talk to the community, Lord. Oh, oh why did I say community, Lord? <laughs> Pray. <laughs> it, it don't hurt. It don't hurt. But anyway, um, first off, first off, we're going to jump into the Evingham Brunswick game. We're going to hit on this pretty quickly. What a game. Man, crazy. We drove an hour to see this game, and it was worth every second. It really was. Um, the final score for this was 31-28. to 28. And it ended, if you haven't seen the video yet, we'll put it up here. It ended with a field goal. Say so a last second field goal to end this game was just the way it deserved to end. Effingham would win this, getting their first region championship since 1995, I believe. Yeah. Which man. is before both of us were born. Yeah, I'm born in 98. Say <laughs> I'm 99, so it's been a minute. But a few things. Um, Effingham was up at half. They were up at 14. They looked really good in the first half. They looked super good. Man. Say. Um, but then Brunswick, they went in there, talked a little bit. Um, and came back out swinging. I mean, they came out, brought it back to tying. Um, definitely helped to... Uh, Big boy number seven. H Henny, I think it was Henny Kent. Uh, man, 6'7", 260. Six, seven. Oh, my gosh. That's a grown man yeah. out there, bro. They literally, all they had to do... I'm surprised they didn't do it more. All you had to do was just throw it up. Tell you, one was, of the touchdowns was. They threw it up to him. He had three, like, jump balls. Mm -hmm. Caught all three of them. Two. One was a touchdown. The second one was a touchdown that got called back. And the third one, the ref called. They said his foot was out of bounds, but his his cleat was uh, were white, so I couldn't really tell on the camera. But I'm surprised they didn't just throw it up to him more. But say, and then on the other side, AJ Butts had a really good game, and I could we could finally shout out a kicker, Gage Brooks, hit a 25 yarder at the end of the game to seal the deal. And uh, yeah, the stands went crazy, the crowd went crazy, the teams went crazy. Shout out to the coach, man, John Ford. He's been showing a whole bunch of love since I started. I was, we were finally able to make it out there. Like I said, that was the perfect game for us. To, mm. Like the first Effingham game for us to finally be out there, that was the perfect game for it. Say, I don't think it could have went better. But on that note, we're going to go into quick picks for this week. Quick picks of the playoffs. What's my, uh, what's my record? Your overall record right now. So 101 and 18 for your overall this season. Now, do you want to clean the slate for the playoffs or do you want to... <laughs> Yeah, we can. We can clean the slate for the playoffs? Yeah, All right, so for the playoffs, we're going to clean the slate back to zero and zero. We'll see how he does for the playoffs because I'm you know, kind of curious. But all right, so first one's up. The one, one seed Calvary takes on the four seed Jackson. Uh, who you got? Uh, man, Calvary. Calvary buddy. Yeah, Calvary's Not on a roll right now. Close. BC, one seed BC takes on the four seed Baldwin. BC. BC? Yeah. BC and Calvary. I like both of them to win by like 30. Say so Jenkins will go on and take Aruba, uh, take on Aruba Mountain. I, think I ain't going to lie. The way Jenkins played against Statesboro, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm picking Aruba, though. Yeah. I mean, they are the one seed. They're coming in hot. So Memorial That's Day true. takes on Harvester Christian Academy. Who Same with Jenkins, man. The way Memorial's been playing these last couple weeks, man, I, I'm i going for the undefeated record, mm -hmm. bro, so I'm going with the other team. <laughs> St. Andrews takes on, oh, goodness. I'm going with St. Andrews. I don't... Tafia Area Academy? I, they like 2-7-1 or something like yeah. that, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Saint, uh, I don't know, St. Andrews. I feel like St. Andrews kind of focus on like basketball now. Like It's basketball season. Are they still locked in the focus? Uh, come on, St. Andrews, bro. Don't disappoint me, bro. If they do, I don't got to pick on no more. Though. Bethesda versus Northside Christian. But Bethesda. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Bethesda going in 11-0, and perfect season this year. So we had, what, three teams finish perfect? Calvary, yes. BC, and Bethesda? Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, and then into the game of the weeks that we will be at. We're going to be at a Friday night game and a Saturday night game this week. Another big week so, for y'all, man. Big, big week. Uh, we're going to start off on Friday night. we got Savannah Christian versus Peach County. Oof. 
Man. So this is going to be a good one. I'm excited to see Savannah Christian again, man. I haven't seen them or Calvary since since they played each yeah. other. And that was like back in September. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to get back on the Savannah Christian sideline, see them, feel their energy. Uh, they played Peach last year. And I, I don't remember the final score, but I know Savannah Christian won, obviously. So same outcome. Yeah. Savannah Christian's about to go out, dominate. I feel like they're going to have a strong show in this week. Yeah. And then on Saturday, the New Hampstead would take on West Side. <sighs> Which yeah. you this were telling the game. me, yeah, you were telling me this is going to be a good one. It's the big game because Westside's a good team. But they play in a really good region too. They're what seven and two, and they're the third seed. Eight and two, and then the third. Oh, they're eight and two. Yeah, yeah, eight and two in the third seed, and then you got New Hampstead. Man, New Hampstead just has to play a clean game. Yep, that's all they got to do. They can't just play shoot a clean themselves game. in the foot. Don't turn the ball over. Make uh, make your kicks. You got they got to <laughs> tackle because the quarterback over there at Westside. I don't know if he's a true running back or if he's just a legit, uh, like, dual-threat quarterback. But I want to say he has over 1,000 yards rushing and passing. So he's going to be a problem out there. Yeah. So it's really going to be up to their defense. Got to keep your eyes on them. Cannot lose him. Got to contain him. Wrap so, up. Can't that, do what y'all did against Calvary and miss all them tackles on the outside. I can't. I haven't watched the film on him. But if he has over 1,000 yards, I imagine they run some kind of oh, it's a lot of RPOs triple option. And, yeah. Okay. Um, which, I mean, that comes down to film. You got to watch film. You got to learn how to. Yep. That's all. Um, you got to be disciplined. But at and the I, same time, I put New Hampshire's offense. They can score. For they sure. can score the ball. So I don't even think that they have to stop West Side every. Well, so I say they got to stop them because even though New Hampshire can score, mm -hmm. what was that? Burt County was the only that I've been on their, uh, games that I've been to this year. That was the only clean game I've seen them. Yeah. New Hampshire, or BC, and Wayne County, those are winnable games. But they turn the ball over yep. too much, and they miss too many kicks. You cannot have penalties. Nope. Like I said, if they play a clean game, though, I definitely like New Hampshire yeah. to put it up because their offense is, like, pff, I mean, strong. Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't guard all three of their receivers. Nope. There's not a defense that's just going to be able to lock them down. So it's going to be New Hampshire beating themselves on offense. So as long as they just, like I said, play clean, stay disciplined on both sides, both on all three be. phases because special teams is a big factor. You can't be out there scoring touchdowns or miss extra points. Because I'm extra points. You saw what happened in the yeah. BC game. Them things came back to haunt them. So even, and then even after the Effingham Brunswick game, you can see how impactful special teams can exactly. be. Exactly. Exactly. Um, All you got to do is just get into a good field goal range and just mm -hmm. let your kicker go out there, mm -hmm. win the game for you. But so, that, that's going to be the, that might, not might, that is going to be the best game around one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, sure. Like I said, we think the Calvary BC games are going to be pretty, we yeah, think those are going to be gonna pretty be. dog walks. I mean, Savannah Christian. I like them to win by like a dominant like twenty one points too. To be honest yeah. with you, I definitely think like the Hampstead don't... West side is going to be the hard one. Yeah, that's going to be a nail biter. But we did Spencer posted this on his story a couple couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. There is a chance that we get a Calvary versus BC state championship. Oh no 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 yeah yeah. yeah. Would it be the state? Championship? Oh no no no. Would it be BC versus Hamp and then Calvary versus Savannah Christian? Yeah, so, yep, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yep. so it's, we have a chance to get Calvary versus Savannah Christian state championship as well as BC versus New Hampstead state championship, state championship which all four if, teams handle business. If all four teams handle business, we no doubt will be there. Hey, no cap. This just hit me, bro. We didn't talk about Savannah Country Day. We did not. They're in the playoffs, too. They're the third seed. That's on us. I don't know how we missed them. Who are they playing? Let me find out. Say, we'll it, that just right hit now. me. Like I was just like, wait a minute. We're missing somebody. All right, let me see. That's all. Did I miss him? All right, Savannah Country Day, 7-3. and three. They're the third seed. They're playing the two seed, Ups and Lee. They're 8-2. and two. Ooh. Where That's going to be... I got Ups and Lee on that one, man. Ups and Lee? Yeah, I got Ups and Lee on that one. Like, who knows? They might. They might. I hope Savannah Christian or Savannah Country Day proves me wrong on that one. Say so they might ruin you. You're perfect. But I think that's all we have for this episode. Yeah, it, that's it. No. Say we we're sorry we missed the Tuesday episode. It's partly my, mostly my fault. I went on, I went to the Bengals game this week and lost my voice. It's all good. So I wanted it's to give good. myself a day to kind of recharge and bring that energy for y'all. Uh, but make sure y'all stay tuned in as we get into playoffs. As well as we, uh, we're uh, we going to be start throwing in some basketball stuff here pretty soon. Spencer's got the first game tonight. Uh, yeah, I don't know I'm, if y'all are getting, excited for basketball. I'm not getting any breaks, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all know that. I got a football game this Thursday, or this Friday and Saturday, and I got a basketball game tonight. I'm not getting any breaks. You know who does get a break? I don't get that big of a break. 
I still gotta do aftermath till we. Oh, the aftermath. <laughs> hey, hey, now, hey, now. I just started my own company. Okay. Yeah, I don't got no time for breaks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you are a basketball player, make sure you go in the comments. Let us know who you play for. We are going to go ahead and say it out front. There is no way that we can make it to every basketball game this season. So let us know what games y'all think we should go to. I ain't going to lie. Since we putting it out there, let me go ahead and put this out there too. I'm probably not going to make many JV basketball games. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I work night shifts, so I got to get some type of sleep during the day and the way the jv games are scheduled they're like 4 30 that means i have to be up and moving by like three mm -hmm. it's not gonna be many jv games y'all sorry what? about that one but hey man hoot though ball out let's say we, we we're doing what we can and if you are on jv don't worry we gonna be around hey i'm still be here y'all yeah. gonna y'all gonna get right and be on varsity times. bro i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm get y'all right bro. don't say, worry about it we just we're jam-packed the schedule right now I'm and when it say. comes to basketball it's not like football where they're all on one day it's scattered throughout the week. But no, we're going to make sure we hit as much as we can. Let us know what teams you play for, what games we should go to. Um, and hopefully, if, if you have some new segments that you think that we should do for basketball season, let us know. Thanks. Basketball, we're going to have a lot more highlight clips, I feel like. So we might be able to do maybe some top ten, top three stuff. Um, nope. But we're going we gonna to kind of revamp it. New things are coming for the basketball season. But on that note, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, share with some friends, especially with the new season coming up. People that don't watch basketball they might, or football, they might be into the basketball thing. Um, let them know what we do. Make sure y'all hit us up in the DMs. Any highlights and all that from this weekend. And we will see y'all uh, Friday night, right? Peace. Peace.